Welcome back to another tutorial video from Software How To's. In this video, I am going to explain a program called Express Animate, which was created by NCH Software. This program is the best animator I have found that is free. It's a 2D animator with keyframes. It works very well and the export quality is great. But before I keep running on and on and on about how great this program is and eventually use up all my storage on my computer, let's dive in. Let's open Express Animate. Let's click New Project right here. And go full screen. Alright, so this is the Express Animate layout. We have the toolbar up here, we have the composition over here, and the timeline down here. And notice, and stretch. So if you're trying to focus more on what you're seeing in the video, you can have it like this, or if you're trying to edit more keyframes, you can have it like this. Alrighty, so let's start by changing the background color, because black is boring. So you right click, composition background. Alright, so we can either have a solid color, like say red, okay, and now it's red. Or we can do a gradient. So the gradient starts up here and goes down here, and we click on this triangle here, edit it, just do red, click down here to white. Okay, there's a gradient, nice. Let's change that up a bit. You can also change it to radial. So now it's a round gradient. That's nice. But we don't want a gradient for now, so let's just change it to solid and let's use red. So we have a solid red background. So the first thing I want to add to start demonstrating the animation keys is text. So let's click on this add text button over here and click on the canvas. All right, so here's a little text editor here. Let's change the font to band script light because that is my favorite font. All right, and let's type my awesome animation about random shapes. And let's delete here and enter. And let's change the alignment to centered. We can also change the alignment to right and left, and we can change the font size as well. Let's change that font size a little bit down, let's do 15. Alright, we can also make it bold, italic, underlined. Let's just leave it as it is. Tap any of that. Alright, so now we can click outside of the text editor, and here is our text. My awesome animation about random shapes. Over here, you see you renamed the text in the composition to my awesome animation and it automatically does that whatever you type in here to rename it but you can rename it by right clicking just clicking rename so actually I'll demonstrate that rename to title okay so that doesn't change the text over here the text is my awesome animation about random shapes but the text itself in the composition is called title and now you see it also added it down here you can minimize all the properties you can see there's text right here, which has a default of a burgundy color. You don't select it on it. Right here, burgundy. Alright, so you can see all the keyframes. You can add these little buttons right here, add a keyframe. I'll show you that in a minute. But now, first thing to do is to make the animation much easier, let's center the anchor point. So now the anchor point is right here. Alright, so now this looks centered. Let's change the text color by right-clicking over here or in the composition or even down here we can change the fill all right so now we can choose what fill we want let's choose a nice light blue click ok and one thing i'll mention here so when you're in the edit colors menu you can set to swatch any color you like so you have a deep blue right you can click set to swatch, and now you have the deep blue here for future use. But let's just go back here, okay. Alright, my awesome animation about random shapes. So, let's start demonstrating keyframes. Down here, you can either click on these buttons to zoom in, or you can just slide, scroll with your mouse, or touchpad. So let's move ahead a little bit. And you, to add a keyframe, you either right-click on it and add a position animation key, but you can only add an animation keys that way for position. So, 
let's do it down here instead. We can click New Key right here for position. Let's undo that. First, let's move this out of the way. Notice I have the snap on right here, this magnet. If I turn that off, then it doesn't snap to the end. If I turn it on, it snaps. Snap tool is very helpful when you're working down here in the timeline editor. Alright, so let's add a position animation key. Let's move forward a little bit in the timeline and drag this guy all the way there. And you notice there's that yellow line. That line is the path of the animation. And also added another animation key automatically here. So now look at this. And you notice the playback rate in frames per second is not that great. It shows the frames per second down here. It's 13, 12. It's not that great, but when Express Animate exports a video, it's always very good. And you can change the quality right here. Full quality, that was half quality, third quality, quarter quality. I don't know why you would ever do that unless you're trying to create a pixel animation. So I just leave it at full. Alrighty. Now that we're done with that, we can zoom out as far as possible and then hover over the title here and you see those little arrows. That means you can drag this and that's how you change the length. And let's drag this to match up with the cursor there. Alright, so it ends right there. Nice. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how to copy another one of these. You do Control C, Control B, and then it adds it above there. So let's add this to the front of the cursor. So now we have another exact same text. Let's rename this for clarity purposes to title two. So we have title and title two. All right. So now this one, I'm going to demonstrate the scale. So let's add a scale key. Let's move to about here. Here, let me move it to the center first. Above the old one. There we go, it snapped. Alright, we've added that. Let's move it farther into the timeline. And let's stretch it out. Remember to hold shift to keep the same aspect ratio. Let's keep it in the middle. And then let's zoom it back out. All right. So now let me show you what that did. Let me make this a bit smaller. Let me move this a bit over. Let me turn snap off so I have more precision. Actually, I'm zoomed in pretty much. All right, that's good. Right there, that'll do. All right, so we have our first animation here. Moves in, and it gets bigger. Now I noticed that the text kind of overlaid. So to fix that, I'm going to move this up using the arrow keys. A little to the right. All right, that's lined up pretty well. Zoomed in as much as possible. Let's turn snap off. Try to get this guy a little bit forward. Alright. That'll do. Alright, so it goes in. And it gets bigger and stops. So, we've animated a little bit of text. So, let's try out some more animation keys. Let's duplicate this. Let's minimize this over here so we can see what we're doing. CV. Let's drag it over here. Let's delete these keyframes. Alright, let's match it up with the previous one. Seems to be a bit bigger. Alright, now let's see, we'll try the rotation now. Click on rotation, move a little farther in the timeline. 
and to rotate an object, you hold control and go in one of the corners, and then you drag. So let's drag it to there, let's move it forward in the timeline, a couple more spots, and let's move it back here again. Let's make this a little longer, let's move a couple more places in the timeline. Remember to hold control or you'll make it bigger, like that. And here, let's make it go back to where it was. Center. And let's make this a little bigger. And let's make it do a complete 360 degree spin all the way to here. Make it go all the way around. Alright, let's see how that looks. Nice! That's the rotation animation key. There's also the space CD animation key, which I will show that right here. Let's make this a little longer. And let's move to here. Let's add a key for opacity. Right now you see it's 100%. Move it a little forward. And now if you hover over the 100%, you can drag it either more or less. So let's make it zero. Now let's match this up. So now the text is going to fade out. Nice. And remember, when you export the video, it'll be a much better quality, better frame rate. All right, so now that we've added text here, let's fade the red to white. So if we click on, let's add a shape. Okay, it's a timeline right here. All right, now let's add a new object. Click this new object button here. And let's add a rectangle. So our background is going to be white. We just fill this up here. And then now we can edit the color here to solid color. Let's make it white because that's a good background. Okay. And now it's white. So you notice here that a shape's default color in the timeline editor is green and a text is burgundy. And when you import an image, colors different as well. Let's zoom out a bit so we can see what we're doing. I just noticed the timeline is really long so let's just click on this button over here you can change the composition duration and uncheck that. Let's just scroll down a bit. You can also click on it and edit it there. Alrighty. I think I just made it bigger. Oh wait, that was an hour. <laughs> Alright. That's a little better. There we go. Now we're zoomed in. Let's drag this green up to here, the shape. Alright, up to there. Now let's add more opacity. Animation keys, one here at 0%. This time it's going to do the reverse. It's going to fade in. And then let's change it up here to 100%. Alright, now let's see how that looks. Nice, it faded to white. Alright, so now that we have it faded to white, let's make this position a bit longer. Alrighty. Let's make this last for the entire time. Because we want a white background. Zoom in again. Notice wherever you zoom in, it always zooms perfectly around the cursor. Alright. Now let's start by adding our first shapes. So in the next video, we will start adding the first shapes and I'll show you more of the features of Express Animate. And we'll start animating shapes and making them bump around. But this video was just for the setup, creating the title. So let's watch this.
Nice. That's pretty good. It did not take too long. So that's the first video of, of Express Animate. We're gonna create this nice shapes animation. Express Animate is a really good tool. It, the animation works really well. The keyframes is really easy to understand. And it's, I think, a really great software. So thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video. And please do not forget to subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.